Hello, folks. I want to do a little story, uh, a, more of a special interest piece today about uh, John Amos. You know, he's notably known uh, as the father on Good Times, the TV sitcom from the 1970s. Also, he played in movies such as Uptown Saturday Night, um, Roots as Kunta Kinte, um, the adult Kunta Kinte at that, um, and Coming to America as Mr. McDowell. Uh, right now, he is in a bit of a situation where... He's had some terrible things to happen to him. He's in Memphis in the hospital. Uh, he's been in the hospital for quite some time now, uh, dealing with some health issues. But he's had some issues going on where he's had things stolen from his home. Um, I got the info update off of the Willie D podcast that I tune into quite frequently. And what I saw on Sunday and in the past couple of days is that uh, his son explained that someone had stole a lot of expensive items from his home and are holding them in a disclosed location and making threats uh, of bodily harm if anybody comes to try to retrieve them. That's crazy. His daughter had put out a video a couple of weeks ago saying that he was being uh, abused. And of course, I don't go for the elderly abuse at all. So that's why this story piqued my interest. Uh, I'm going to let you guys hear in his own words how he's doing. I'm an 83 year old man and I have two children. My son is here with me in the hospital in Memphis. He's at, he's at my bedside and I'm not in the hospital as a result of uh, anything that happened recently other than the fact that about a month ago I was hospitalized because uh, I was suffering from um, water retention water retention, and, and a couple of other issues, all of which have been corrected or at least addressed. I have, I have very capable and, and I'm very confident in the doctors that I have here and the medical staff that my son has assembled around me, so I feel really good about that. Um, my main issues are that I feel that I was, prior to entering the hospital, we, I had some ongoing issues with my daughter, who I feel has taken advantage of me, and she would be the primary uh, suspect, if you would. I don't know if that's the right term to use or not, but she's the one that I would attribute my elderly abuse to, and it's definitely a case of elderly abuse to Shannon says her father was forced by his actual abuser, who social users have named as his son, KC, to make those claims against her. Still using and drugs and misusing me and my money. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Is that what the, the essence of this is? Yes. Okay. Then he needs to be confronted. We need to find out the truth because all of us are laboring under the assumption that he is, it may be justified, it may be the case. Let's determine if that is the case. Let's sit down as a family, get face to face, and let him off. And if he cries or curls up or don't want to meet with you, or don't want to see you, and he doesn't, that's clear. He's hitting the back of the car rather than let his presence be known the other day when we came up, came up there looking for whatever it was I needed. So that's got to be dealt with. So allegedly the son is using drugs. Maybe that's what happened to the items. Who knows? So as you can see, this is a very sticky situation with a lot of uncertainty. And I'm going to continue to follow Willie D's um, podcast, his story, and any other podcast that may be reporting on it because there's a lot of unanswered questions and a lot of things that may lay ahead. And we definitely don't want one of America's favorite father figures, or anyone's dad for that matter, uh, to be treated unfairly. And I definitely want to get down to the bottom of it, don't you? This is a very interesting story. I pray that justice be prevailed for Mr. Amos for all the items that were stolen from him, or were they stolen? Let's talk about that. And also the alleged 
elder abuse. That's something that should not be going on, period. So let's just pray for him that uh, whatever the situation is right now, that it be better, it becomes better, and that he has people around him that will look out for his best interest. Okay, so let's just uh, say a little prayer for him that all is well moving forward. 